I'm a big baby. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to day, today's edition of Snack Break. I'm your host, Micah Gray, and with me today in the kitchen is Chef Joshua Allen. Um, tell us what you've got for us today, Joshua. It smells great so far. <laughs> While I was living in, Sicily, in, in Normandy last year, I paid a visit to Sicily. Um, and the person that I stayed with, I stayed at a um, bed and breakfast. And I was there by myself. Mm -hmm. So he was like, he took me under his wing. I was like his son for the week. That sounds and amazing. He taught me this recipe for an easy pasta sauce, which okay. is literally all it is is tomatoes, olive oil, onions, uh, mushrooms, um, salt, pepper, and water. Okay, That's it. Great. And another dish that um, would be simple for college students to make. Very much so. Is always, I think, the key here. To go ahead and get started, we're going to add in a, our olive oil to our hot pan. Okay. This is actually an olive oil infused with oregano that I got for Christmas. Oh, it's nice. Quite wonderful. Do you know where it's from? Or um, somebody handmade it for me. Very nice. Yes. So you're uh, probably an easy person to give gifts for anything that you can use in the kitchen, I guess. Basically. I love it. Uh, right now, we're going to be dicing up half of an onion. Okay. I don't see how you do it. My eyes are... Oh, burning every already. I was crying like a baby. <laughs> it was awful. So, chop this up. If anyone ever uh, offers to help me in the kitchen, that's the job I give them. Just, just cut this <laughs> onion for me. I do it to my roommate <laughs> all the time. And she cries and I just laugh. Yeah, that's all you can do. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, give us a rough chop. Right. Let's see. And I think our olive oil is getting hot. You just want it to kind of, the olive oil to kind of simmer before yeah, you Yeah, because start if you just throw it. in the onions before it gets hot, it's mm -hmm. just going to soak up that oil and it's just going to be, they're not okay. going to cook the right way. Okay. Uh, and it is. So now we're going to nice. go ahead and add our onion in there. Okay. Ah, uh, that nice Sounds sizzle. Good, yes. Nice. Move this around. All right. Turn this in. So is this another dish that you learned from your husband, Lisa? This or? is from um, actually a guy in Sicily who ran a bed and breakfast that I stayed with. Oh, okay. Not the husband. Lisa. He would I'm literally sorry. make the sauce every night and just throw something different with it. Uh, throw some like mussels or chicken or throw in some other different vegetables like eggplant. Okay. And he would just cook it. So really it's whatever, uh, I guess you, throw whatever, whatever you want in it. Okay. His original recipe doesn't have mushrooms in it. I just added mushrooms That's because I like it. That's just what you had. Nice. Okay. All right. So while those are cooking, we're going to cook these until they get translucent. Okay which they're already starting to turn because we have this pan good and nice. hot. We're going to cut up our mushrooms. And these mushrooms have been pre-washed? Uh, oh, yes. Okay. You definitely need to wash your mushrooms. Okay. And what is the process that you go about to dry them? I've heard um, a few different kinds of processes as far as I let them air dry just so okay. as not to damage any of it. Okay. I uh, just put a paper towel in um, this thing. I wash it out. All just right. put a paper towel in there. And that's it. If you want to grab that paring knife over there, you can start chopping. All right. With me, we're just going to cut um, off the stems just so okay. it's easier to cut down. And I'm going to go ahead and start chopping this because these are going to okay. turn translucent fairly quickly. They are. And we're going to cut these in about a fourth of an inch thick. But it really doesn't matter. Right. As long as they're not in your hole. Don't eat mushrooms, or yeah, generally don't really like mushrooms. But in things like this dish. Um, I do. Do you eat raw mushrooms or? I do. do. You do. Um, growing up, I was deathly afraid of mushrooms. I was like, ew, they're fungus. Yeah. But ever since I went to France, I had to just eat whatever my host family gave to me, and they were vegetarians. Oh, so of wow. course, mushrooms was nice. their big thing. Okay. And I'm gonna kind of make this a little our discard pile. <laughs> wonderful. Um, so since then, I eat any kind of mushrooms. Mushrooms for dinner, and that's it. Great. Perfectly fine with me. Um, well, I'll take this time to mention Joshua has an amazing blog that um, he puts all of his dishes on and step by step you'll be able to find pictures of each step um, along the way. So it makes uh, it, it makes it super simple and uh, like I said earlier the website is extremely user friendly. I, I enjoyed it myself thoroughly. So he, and he has a, a great avatar. If you check that out, be sure to look for that. <laughs> I had a lady on Etsy. She made that for me. That's amazing. There's That's a link on uh, my website for her, too, if you want to use oh, her Oh, okay. Services. So you've added a link to find her. Nice. Yes. I'm what, sure she appreciates that. Oh, she definitely does. <laughs> Those huh. are looking pretty. Are they getting about? Oh, yeah. They're just okay. about there. So I'm going to rough chop right. these real quick. And then we're going to throw them in. Is that something I could help you with? Sure. Or? If you want to okay. grab that peri knife. Okay. You can cut the rest of them. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw these in. All right. We're just going to let them cook down a little bit. And you'll it see they'll smells. start to like wilt down and they're going to get smaller. All right. And we're going to let those sit for just a minute. I'm going to add a touch more olive oil. Excuse right. me. Oh, excuse me. 
Love olive oil. So good. Me too. Like, I try to cook with it out. the best that I can. I have like four or five jars at home of olive oil that I just throw in random ingredients. There's one with rosemary, there's <laughs> one with basil and garlic. Oh wow. I've never, I, I buy just original or olive oil. That's, but I'll start looking. You have inspired <laughs> me to brought in my food choices. Wonderful. If sure. I can inspire one person, I've done my job. Well, you've done your job then today, thoroughly. All right. Ooh. Oh, there they go. And they sometimes, yeah. They sometimes like to jump at you. They're I guess excited. if you're not making a mess, you're just not doing it right, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Never trust a skinny chef or a, mess, or a clean right. chef. I, I like that. You have now, to get your hands what do dirty. we have here? What's this is, I went ahead and decanned it, but this was a 28 ounce uh, can of mm -hmm. whole peeled tomatoes that were okay. imported from Italy. And um, whenever you dump out the tomatoes, there's some excess um, residue on the can. Oh, okay. So just throw in half a cup of water, just get that out. And kind of cleanse it, yeah. so to speak. Okay. And, and then you just add that straight yeah, to the This is the, the water and the, and the tomatoes whole. Oh. We're going to add those in. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Very colorful. Colorful dishes are also healthy dishes, right? Yes, that very correct? much so. All right. And the more different colors you have, the better it is for you. So then you're just okay. going to go through and break them up. And you have they to be careful. They break fairly easy? Yeah, oh. they break fairly easily, but whenever you first get it in there, they like to squirt at you. Oh, you okay. You should see so my <laughs> stove whenever I try to do this. <laughs> Again, you have to be messy. Don't trust a clean or skinny cook. That's it. Exactly. See, it went ahead and squirted at me. Okay. All right, we're running out of time, but you're just going to break those down, okay. and then you're going to let it simmer for about five to ten minutes covered. Great. And I have a prepared dish already for you. Oh, that looks amazing. It's wonderful. I, all I did Very. was... Uh, toss the pasta and the sauce together, topped with a little bit of Parmesan, and it's done. Okay, and I see here you have angel hair. Is that angel hair pasta? This or? is linguine. Oh, linguine. Okay, there it is. My bad. Just so it holds more of the sauce together. Okay, but it, is this something? Is that something that you could kind of trade out to your liking? You can trade it for any, pa sauce? any pasta you want. Okay, great. All right, I'm you want to give it a try? This, if you don't, yes. It's wonderful. Sure. Straight from Sicily. Now this could get a bit messy, so excuse me <laughs> if it is. And of course, um, forgot to mention, you're going to salt and pepper this to taste. It usually mm. takes about a tablespoon to of salt and a little that bit is, of pepper. Well, that's great without any salt or pepper. That is wonderful. I don't normally salt my foods anyway, so that <laughs> is amazing. I don't know if you got to get to see that. That is so good. And um, again, you can use any uh, ingredients that you want. You can take out the mushrooms, throw in some eggplant, throw in some uh, shredded up chicken. Okay. Um, my host, uh, not my host father, my, um, well, he was my host father in Sicily, threw right. in some mussels, cooked those down, let them open up, and then served it like that. Do That's anything. amazing. Yeah, I may throw in um, at home uh, for myself, maybe some, you can, like you said, chicken, but do you think um, meats would work, a hamburger meat, something like yeah, that? Yeah, throw or? in a hamburger meat, make a more traditional American approach to it. Okay, yeah, I'll Americ yeah, Americanize it. <laughs> Um, so, like I've already mentioned, be sure you visit his website at chefjoshuaallen.com. It's wonderful. Is this recipe on your website? This recipe will be on there. Okay, so wonderful. Be sure to check it out. Be sure to. Yeah, that's where you can find that. Um, he's going to, are we finishing up that over there? Is it? Yeah, we're just, uh, we'll go ahead and crush these down. Okay. Since we let them cook for about a minute or two. If you let them cook for a minute or two, they're easier to open up and okay. crush down. It also smells wonderful for, you know, home. If you're having guests over, it's nice. Yeah. Smelling. If you really want to speed this process up, take a hand mixer, just go in there and crush it all up. Oh, okay. Uh, mushrooms, everything, just make it a really smooth sauce. Okay, do you want to make sure that you crush those while they're in the pan instead yes, of opposed to Yes, crush those before? in the pan while they're cooking, and then you're also going to, that's when you'll salt and pepper them. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and Joshua, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you so much. Yes, we really appreciate it. But thank you for joining us today for this edition of Snack Break. I've been your host, Micah Gray, and this is your chef, Joshua Allen. Thank you, and have a good day.